What really goes on in Area 51? Is it simply just like any other government facility? Or do top secret experiments actually happen? Are they hiding aliens from us? Or Bigfoot? Or mermaids? Or even the Krabby Patty secret formula? Today, I intend to find out. Join me as I enter the walls of the facility to discover the true secrets of Area 51. Welcome to another installment of me beating every PS2 game ever. If you didn't guess by the intro, today, I am playing Area 51. So, grab your tinfoil hats, kick back, and please enjoy. Just before we get into it, I want to quickly apologize for the game quality. For whatever reason, the lights constantly flickered and the floor turned black wherever people walked. I tried to fix it, but I couldn't figure it out. Please forgive me. The game starts off with me and my hazmat team being called into Area 51 due to an unknown emergency. The team is trained to stop any viruses or diseases from breaking out and infecting the masses. We went in with plenty of confidence and no worries, thinking it would be a routine mission just like all the others. Boy, were we wrong. After practicing some shooting, I kill a rogue agent that's causing havoc in the facility. After watching his body disappear into thin air, I know that we are in for more than we thought. Government's gotta be in way over their heads here. This is some scary biotech. Once we make our way to the bottom of this huge facility, we see firsthand what kind of virus we're dealing with. The virus takes as little as four hours to mutate the host into some sort of terrifying alien creature whose main goal is to either kill others or mutate them and spread the virus. We immediately have to start killing these creatures in order to make it through the facility in an attempt to track down and rescue the hazmat team that was sent in before us. After killing some mutants, we come across a room that needs power to open up the path. So McCann and I head over to find the generator and reroute the power. After successfully doing that, a mutant grabs McCann and rips his head off as if he were a fat kid opening a candy bar. Sadly, there was nothing we could do and we had to leave his body behind. So we carried on while killing a crap load of mutants. We found some survivors to join us on our mission and kept going deeper. Eventually. We came across a room that was blocked by a huge door that we needed to unlock to keep progressing. I made my way up to the control room and allowed my team to get through. While making my way back down to the door, there was an explosion that caused the door to close, trapping me inside. It turns out that it was actually a good thing for me because I had the pleasure of watching Ramirez and Crispy get demolished by some unknown being. I made my way around the door and continued, alone and afraid. I soon came across Hazard Team Delta, who were pinned down by an onslaught of mutants. I helped them load and activate the turrets and fix their communications, which allowed us to gain intel on an armory nearby and get some explosives. We used those explosives to blow a hole in the wall and escape the room. But as we approach the hole in the wall, a big creature blocks the path and kills three members of Team Delta. The lone survivor and I find the elevator and start making our way back towards the top of the facility. Then an explosion goes off, causing the two of us to fall off of the elevator, killing the last member of Team Belta and causing me to be bitten by a mutant. This gives me the ability to switch between mutant and human, allowing for more combat options. But I also have to try and fight the virus to keep from becoming one of them. Then a corpse floats in the air and talks to me. It tells me to find a Dr. Cray who should be able to cure me. Okay. This is probably a good time to explain what the heck is going on. This is going to be a decent amount of information, so pay attention if you want to understand the story. In 1947, an alien spaceship crashed in New Mexico. It was then taken to Area 51, where a survivor of the crash was discovered, a powerful alien named Edgar. The alien struck a deal with the Illuminati to receive a research base three miles deep in Area 51 in exchange for the Illuminati having access to the alien's technology. Yes, the Illuminati are here. Why wouldn't they be? So the aliens and human scientists created the beast that we keep seeing in order to spread the virus. They call it Theta. What the scientists didn't know 
is that the Illuminati and the aliens were planning on using this virus to take over the Earth. When Dr. Correa learned of this plan, he released the beast in the facility in an attempt to stop them, which is the emergency that hazmat teams were called in for. I swear I'm not crazy. This is actually what's going on. You have to believe me, please. The aliens are here and they want to take our people and they're going to... Um, anyways, back to the game that definitely doesn't represent real life in any way. I continue my way deeper into Area 51 while killing more mutants and armed Illuminati forces. Yeah, I'm killing the Illuminati now. They are killing any and all witnesses because they're kind of rude like that. Witnesses. I follow the directions of Dr. Cray and the floating dead bodies until I finally reach Dr. Cray's lab. After protecting him and doing a few things to prepare for the cure, it was time to rid the virus from my body. I stepped into the chamber and was ready. But the Illuminati attacked and killed Dr. Cray before the cure could be injected. With no cure, there was only one thing left to do. Keep making my way deeper into the facility and end this. I went through room after room, killing many Illuminati forces along the way. I soon came across a strange room. And we have acquisition of signal. Model 15, Houston standing by. <laughs> Repeat, Apollo 15, Houston standing by. I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Huh. Anyways, after killing a lot of Illuminati men, I meet Edgar. Edgar is the alien that was being experimented on to create the mutants. It was him that was using dead bodies to communicate with me telepathically, helping me make my way to him. He tells me how many of his species were killed during experiments, and because of this, he wants the Illuminati's plan of world domination to die here along with the virus. He gives me the cure to the virus and guides me to a vessel that is carrying several more Theta duplicates and is said to be leaving the facility. So once again, I start to make my way even deeper into the facility. I soon find myself trapped in a room with a Theta creature and I must kill it in order to complete my mission. I take it out with relativities and keep going. It wasn't long until I found myself in the core of the vessel. It was time to put this conspiracy to bed and to save humanity. I used my weapons to destroy the core and cause the vessel to begin to explode. I had to race against the clock to escape through a portal and make it back to the surface safely. Once I arrive back in the desert, I watch as Area 51 gets completely destroyed from the explosion. Sadly, I was unable to save anyone from inside the facility. However, the many lives lost were a necessary sacrifice to save all of mankind. And with that, the game comes to an end. Rating time. I give a 7 out of 10 for gameplay. I enjoy the variety of guns and being able to transform between human and mutant. I give a 9 out of 10 for the story. Personally, I really enjoy the concept of conspiracy theory, so this one really tickled my fancy. I give a 0 out of 10 for the broken graphics, even though it was 100% my fault. In conclusion, I quite enjoy shooting my way through Area 51. It does make you think about what really goes on behind those walls. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it in any way, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. It really means a lot. If there are any games you'd like to see, please let me know. Please have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.